Hello, tinkerers and travelers. My name is TV Sky, and welcome back to the Boss Designs of Elden Ring, where I've decided that I want to go back and clean up a little bit. Because, like, we can see, <laughs> if we take a look at the map, we can trace, like, a very clear path of what exactly I've been doing across the map. And it's been very much running in, like, a straight line, just following after where the he wherever the hell the graces happened to point. Um... But, you know, perhaps at this point it's a good idea to go back and take stock a little bit, to head back to places, um, past, and see what stuff we might have missed. For example, there's the Forlorn Hound Everjail, uh, down here, where we might go and kill the Forlorn Hound who lives there. Because he was a dick to us last time we saw him. Um, so... Let's see, yeah. So we'll do that, but also uh, run around here and explore a little bit more, because, like, I was looking at this guy, and I realized I'd completely misread uh, their design. Because, take a look at this. Those who live in death should be left well alone. Look at this armor. More should you spy a mariner among their number. Look at this cool-ass shit. Look at this shit. So, his armor is basically two armors that are completely fused together, like a golden or brass armor. And that dramatic mask, and then another one that, like, pokes out of him, where, like, he's constantly holding one arm. Either his arm is down there, like, clutching around the chest of of the other one, or he's got, like, his arm in there constantly holding on, like, holding a hand over the eyes of, of the thing. Like, and I, I'm given to wonder if this is, like... Is this just ornamentation, or is there, like, literally another person in there with him? Like, is he literally two people? Because that would be very, very cool. Uh, but that's that's a really cool armor design. Like, that's a that's a cool little... Like, he clipped into himself, basically. Like, he turned on no clip and then turned it off at the worst possible moment. Which I think is quite lovely. And speaking of which, I've noticed something else here as well. So, Afia, the grave uh, companion, right? There's something interesting about her room. A little bit, anyway. Because, like, you walk in, right? You walk in through the doors, and it's like, oh, it's a very nice room. It's like, ah, oh, we've got little, like, things displayed on the table, and we've got paintings and things like that. And we got this little screen over here. And so, like, you walk across the room, and you're sort of like, oh, okay. It's like... But then behind the screen, interestingly, we have this absolute pandemonium of books. But it's hidden from view, as though it's something that she's kind of hiding away a little bit. Um, and... That pandemonium of books, like, it sort of leaves a trail across the floor all the way over to her by her bed, where she has an absolute smorgasbord. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Um, where she just has an absolute pile of books, like, on her bedside table, on the bed itself, which sort of gives you a little bit of a clue into, like, how she lives her life and how she lives her days. But what I found really interesting was that little move of, like, oh, this is nice and orderly, and it's all various, like, and then hiding away the mess behind the folding screen. I thought that was just, like, just interesting little idea that, like, she maybe is a little bit embarrassed about the mess. Um, which I quite enjoy. Anyway, give me a hug, would you? I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held regardless? It's hard to say no to that, isn't it? Come closer. Speaking of which, I should really use that blessing she gave me. And I love that the animation you on this... So very warm. The animation Thank on this is you, so slow. Like, it's very, very slow and deliberate. Like, you, you sort of very, very gently put your... Like, put your head up against her chest. She very gently wraps her arms around you. There's a lot of... There's a lot of, like, not necessarily intimacy, but there is a lot of sort of... Gentility in that animation set, which I quite enjoy. Also, we can use the dressing table now um, to change our appearance if we want to. Even change the uh, the <laughs> gender type um, that's applied to us. That's something we got after beating the Moon Lady. I think that's the thing that unlocked it back here in the hold. Speaking of which, probably worth going around and seeing what other new things are happening in the hold. For example, look where she's placed herself. Isn't that interesting? Well. Where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your own. About Roderica. 
I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. That's all right. See, can't strengthen any of my weapons. I'd really like to, though. Oh, I just don't have the runes for it. Okay, fair enough. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I like them. They're cute. Okay, so you can... Aha! Uh -huh. You can upgrade your spirits. Although I need grave glove warts for that. Which... Huh. Which also seem to come in different grades. Still, I will definitely take some upgrade. Like, being able to upgrade the spirits? That sounds pretty cool. <sighs> right, uh... But if it is runes we need, we fortunately have a pretty solid supply of items. So... Back over no matter. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I want to change my weapon. Like, I've been running around with, with the Lord Sorn's Heavy Great uh, Sword for a while, and it's fine, but, like, it's not... You know, it, I don't I don't want to... I don't, I don't want to confuse anyone. Like, I don't want to... I don't want anyone to be sort of feel insecure or whatever, but size matters a little bit. Like, not... Not a lot. Not a lot. It's not a lot, but it matters a little bit. And, like, it's a... It's like a sort of great sword, I guess. It's, it's like... It's larger than average, I suppose, but it's not really, it's not really quite as great, quite as great, um, as, as perhaps I'd want, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it's great, but it's not that great. I want something that's, that's a great bit, bit greater. Um, and so I've been thinking about either swapping over to the brick hammer, just because that's fun. A uh, big brick hammer, swing that in people's faces and hit them with it. Um, but mostly I want... And this is something because I've seen spirits running around with them. Yeah, I want this sword. I want this one. This one right here. This 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 one. I want that sword. It's also here behind him. He's got it right there. He, he doesn't want to sell them to me. I can't buy them from him, which is fucking annoying, dickhead. Um, but I want that one. I want this one. I want it. I want a, I want a real big sword, and I want to swing it around. I want to hit people in the face with it. Uh, is what I want. That's what I want out of life. Um, so I need to find that somewhere. Uh, which probably it is somewhere. I just need, to, just need to run around looking for it. I imagine it's probably one of the optional dungeons up and skipped. Um, so definitely gonna go gather one of those. Uh, hopefully. And in the meantime, I'll, I'll make do with with the sword I have. By the way, notice something funny about the animations. Is <laughs> like you pull the sword out of your waist and then you stash it on your back, so it kind of looks like you're just pulling out infinite swords. Same thing, uh, the shield, it kind of looks like you're just kind of spinning it around yourself. Whee! Anyway, uh, you. Still no legs, huh? Always good to see you, son. Okay, it doesn't really have anything. No. Oh, one thing I noticed also, something I really should have, like, it's fairly obvious, it's not that hard to notice, but, uh, all the weapons that have been thrust into the, into the table here, they've got little branches growing out of them. Like, like, they've all been turned into wood, basically, like, they're wooden weapons, almost. Uh, got little branches growing out of them, as though, as though nature itself has started to overgrow and overtake them again. Which is a thing that comes up again and again and again and again in this game. We saw it with the soldiers in the, uh, storm... 
Stormcliff, Storm whatever, Stor Stormkeep, where we fought, um, where we fought Margit and, uh, and Godric. And that seems to be a thing, like, the whole thing about, like, overgrowth and nature reclaiming things and sending roots and, and, and like, vines and thorns into people. Also, there's this side area uh, in the little dueling pit. I haven't explored it yet. I just realized it was there because it was running around the, the hold before I started recording. Um, that seems to be, like, a big part of the thematic of, uh, of the game. Like, it's all about... It's all about that. It's all about the big tree. Oops. Ooh, item. Oh, corpse. Time for pickle, then offer love. Oh, no. No! No. Absolutely not. Jesus Christ. Goddamn souls community, honestly. Cypher... Peta? Oh? Also, these, I can change... Oh, right, that's the thing I would like. I can alter my thing, but what the heck was that thing? What was that cipher thing? Oh, there. It's a... It's a fist weapon? Eh? One of the weapons originating from the two fingers, a formless sequence of ciphers comprise its blade, and as such, no shield can repel it deals holy damage. Oh, cool! The furtive inscription appears to hang in the air, the language of the light spoken by the two fingers. 30 faith <laughs> to use that weapon. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, don't, don't, don't think I'm gonna invest in that then. Sounds cool. Uh... Can I even equip it, like, without the necessary stats? Yeah, not effectively. Okay, it's like a wrist blade. Okay, that is... That is gen... Oh, that is genuinely pretty cool. Like, I, I'd, be, I'd be worried about seeing, like, a cleric running at me with that. <laughs> that is genuinely kind of cool. But, okay. So that's for clerics. That is not for me. Now, I want to go around, just check that there aren't any new doors that have opened up that I've missed. Or any NPCs standing around doing stuff, saying things. Uh, right, I talked to this guy previously. Oh, well then. And I shouldn't have done that, because that he told he had some dialogue uh, that I kind of wanted to, to have in. He says he wants to go and join Gold Mask, who's another one of the major tarnished. Uh, who's apparently setting up a site of worship, doing some stuff. So he, he might leave soon, which is kind of annoying because I gave him, like, that book to give him extra incantations. Uh, not that I need him or anything, but, you know, still. Hi. Still a cold fish? Fair enough. Well, wonderful. Make the gist of the capital. Landell. The two fingers. You may be our best for we. Morgoth the Grace Giver. It lies at the foot of the two feet until we've. Okay, well. <laughs> Nothing new from him. Anything new here? Doesn't look like it. No big giant great swords either. Ooh, I should check. How many of those do I have? 
Because... I have two. Okay, because there's a place I know where I can use at least one of them. Which is all the, all the, all the, all the way back at the very, 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 very beginning. Oh shit, wait, that's the tutorial area. Don't want to go to the tutorial area. There. We can open this thing up and see what's there. Hm. Well, that looks like poison. Yup. Okay. Uh, guess I'm gonna get poisoned. E okay, safe. Cool. Uh, that's a little. Ah! Whoa! Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, fuck. Right. Let's just... Okay. So you stop like the... Can I kill you? Like, am I supposed to attack you, or...? Oh, there he comes. Okay, can't target it. Okay. Uh, please be an alcove. Yes, good. Uh. Run, 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 run! Uh. Whoa! Jeez. Ghosts. Okay. Why don't you drive your way back up, big guy? See ya never! Oh, why are you alive? Oh, shit! No? Uh, I thought it was gonna drive after me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. You were just fucking with me. Oh, please. I... I oh, my... Oh, no, no! What the fuck? What the dick, guy? Oh, he doesn't drive all the way back up. He doesn't drive all the way back up. Okay. So, that doesn't work. Uh... Wonder if I can make it to the second one. Yep, barely. Are you kicking me? Oh, fuck off with that. 
Was he like trying to kick me out into the thing? Okay. Just gonna wait for the next one. Oh wait, couldn't I? Oh, I think I could. Okay, okay, okay. I know what I'm gonna do. 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 Uh, which is to grab fall damage immunity and wait for him to drive up, and then I'll jump down and I'll just run and then fuck you. <laughs> Where the hell are my runes? Are they, they they get stuck further up? Oh no. Oh no, this is longer than I thought. Oh, okay. Uh Well shit. Can't stop now. Uh-oh. 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 Hey, Chariot, if you want to come along now, that would be good, actually. I fucking got stuck in the- Where were you? Oh, there you are. Now you decide to show up. When you're giving no help to anyone. Dickhead. <laughs> I thought he- I thought he was, like, gonna be right behind me. <laughs> I should just have run past them. I should just have continued. Okay. I wonder if I can jump down here and not die. It seems a little far. Uh, yeah, let's not risk it. Let's go for the next one. Yeah, how does it feel? Okay, wait for him to drive back up, and then we just go. We just go. No stopping, no looking to the sides. Like, probably miss some items, but that's fine. We just go. No sleep till safety. Running, 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 running. No point stopping for the runes, because there's no runes there. Yo, what's up? Okay, that teleportation shit is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. You know, it's also when I'm getting stuck against the wall. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. So, are you ever gonna show, dude? Hello? Was I running in a panic for nothing? He's just not gonna show, is he? I went through all this trouble. But we have a stake of Marika here, at least, so that's nice. Let's see, uh... Keep the marionette soldiers handy, I guess. Eh, 
and see you all. Oh, hello. Ulcerated, indeed. Jesus. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. He can just kind of lay down on top of you. Okay. He can do it again. Ulcerated is right. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, okay. Oh, him a problematic boy. Damn it. Didn't get out of the way in time. Okay. Oh, he he doesn't seem good. Coffin. Try fire. Oh, wait. Actually, we can do that. We can actually try fire. Because we have, well, we have a fire pot, but we only have one of them. But we do have some fire grease. I'm not going to use it yet. I have a feeling I'm going to take a few deaths against this guy. So I think instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon marionettes immediately. Oh, he's just, boy, he's, he's upset. He's upsetty. Is it me or is he even more hyperactive now than he was before? Oh, those summons didn't last. I was hoping to get his attention to myself and like have him leave the marionettes alone. Ah, jeez, I can't see what I'm doing. No, oh! don't do that. Oh fuck. oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, ah! Let me out! Uh, yeah. Okay, gotta dodge a little faster on that one. I think the wolves will get taken out pretty quickly, but the avionettes might have a chance. How can something so big be so difficult to hit? Ow! Jesus! Okay, so... Ulcerated is, like, right. The marionettes also use fire, which is apparently more effective against him, so... Oi, Jesus. Yeah, tail, okay. Ah, fuck me sideways, he got me again. And I'm dead. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's an annoying boy. Because, like, if I target him with... If I target him with the automatic targeting, I 
cannot, like, the camera goes completely fucking bonkers, because that guy is everywhere all the time. But if I... If I don't target him, I'm, I gotta say, like, my camera was having some trouble keeping up with him. Okay. Well, the avionets seem to do okay against him. And he seems to... Oh, fuck me. Would you calm your ass down? Ow. Jesus, okay. I thought I got the timing on that right, but fair enough. Come on! Holy shit. If this feels like something that's meant to be a boss fight you fight on the horse or something. Because, like... Motherfuckers everywhere. Okay. Okay. At least you can roll into him and still dodge that. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What did he do? Ow! He covered himself in that stuff. Okay. Uh -uh. I wonder if you can cut his tail. Like, I'd say that's... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, fuck me! Okay, so that's not like an explosion attack. Oh, Jesus. Basically, that's like his phase two then. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. And he never stops. Like, he doesn't do a big attack and then stand still for a second. He just... Okay. Whoop. Damn it. Whoa. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. Okay. I have no healing. Ow! <clears throat> ah, fuck me! Damn it. I, 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 I dared to hope that after I, after I, um, hit him, like after I stabbed him in the eye, um, that I would have just enough time to actually apply the flame to my weapon. Turns out I was wrong about that. Oh, well, it begins well. I'm dead. <laughs> the thing is, man, I don't think I don't think there's time anywhere in the fight except right at the start to summon. I don't think there's time. Like I don't think there is a moment where I can stop that long.
shit. Okay. Love the animation on this guy, though. Like, he's, like... He's made of tree, but he's also just, like... Completely fluid. Uh-oh. Don't... Don't want to be in front of that. Oh, come on! I rolled correctly, but I was like, I got like, moved by the end of his tail. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't spoil it for me. Oh, come on! Yeah, yeah. I could not see what he was doing. I gotta say, I... I, mm. <laughs> I think FromSoft did a mean thing with this guy. Like, it sort of, it sort of reveals one of the little, little problems that the Souls games do have, I think. Which is their targeting system. Because it's like... It's like the main means you have... Oh, and they're gone. It's the main means you have to, to keep track of what... Oh, fuck off with that. Ugh. Talking while fighting a boss, always difficult. It's like the main means the game provides you, like the main mechanic it provides you for keeping track of an enemy. And then you try to use it um, to keep track of something that's moving really, really quickly. And the camera just absolutely bugs out on you. Fuck off. Okay. No, 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 didn't mean to do that. Oh, piss off. That's the other thing about him is that he does not have consistent range. Like his range is anything. Like it's not just, you, you can't like tell from the length of his limbs even how, how much range you have on him because like his range can just change whenever he wants it to oh would you get to do the critical when I get it okay that was his explosion thing One of my friends was complaining about a boss called the Ulcerated Tree Spirit, and I understand why now. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, bad idea. Bad choice! Oh, please give it to me. Please give it to me this time. Let me have it. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Let us not greed. And instead, just calmly play it out. There we go. Ooh, I got new ashes.
Banished Knight Oleg. Ooh. Whew. Oi. <laughs> that could have gone poorly. It almost did. Ah, got him. Okay, like... You basically have to learn to read his body language while seeing only, like, a third of his body. <laughs> Behold chaos. Yeah, you're not fucking wrong. Jesus. Okay, what? Seek weak foe. Not here. Jesus, what a bastard. First off, well done, all the more, don't give up. So what was he guarding exactly? Just the ashes? Was it just like the battle? Oh no, no, there's something else here. Oh, hello. That looks like uh, bodies. That looks like corpses. That looks like corpses all being congealed into the roots of a great big tree. It's the circle of life and it moves us all through despair and hope through faith and love. And what's interesting is this grave, like if you look at it, this grave wasn't built around these tree Oh, that's all over the place. Um, it wasn't built around these tree roots. These tree roots came later. And invaded. And... I'm wondering if maybe they were looking... for corpses. If they were looking for bodies to... to absorb. Critical hit, oh, critical hit. Well done, Tarnished. Thank you. Well, now that's interesting. That does give us, uh... That does give us a clue or two... ...about... ...the world of Elden Ring and the nature of the aired trees. Because I have to imagine these are the roots of an aired tree. Interesting. Okay. Well, we got some ashes. Let's have a look at those. Ashen remains. Used to summon the spirit of Oleg, the banished knight, one of the two knights known as the Wings of the Storm. After his banishment, he attracted the notice of the grace-given lord, and having slain a hundred traitors as the lord's hands, Oleg earned the hero's honor of Aird Tree Burial. Okay, so it is... So it's not that... Okay, so Aird Tree Burial is a thing. So people are buried specifically in this manner. They are buried in the aired tree. Okay. I don't have enough FP to even summon him. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting because that 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 gives you incentive to invest into intelligence. I think it was, or yeah, or mind rather. That gives you incentive to invest in mind, even if you're not. Like, my, that, that'll still give you more FP with which to use, like, uh, weapon arts and stuff, but it gives you some incentive beyond that. Interesting, okay. Well, that was cool. Ulcerated tree spirit, huh? Ulcerated was right. That thing was, uh... That thing was bleedy. And kind of goopy. And I don't know if Future Sky wants to make a whole episode out of that, but... Uh... Okay, well, if, if he wants to, I'll throw over to him now. Otherwise, I'll just run around keep exploring some stuff. <laughs>